another, another technique off of that is when he throws that punch, is to block and wrap. And then from in here, you're coming in with a wide swinging motion and throwing them over at the same time. So it would look like this. It's one motion. It's coming in. I, I can't do it on the cement, but I'm explaining it in the air from in here. You're blocking, wrapping, and throwing. It's not, it's not if you throw a one, two, three. Yeah. There's too many, too many things that can happen in there. Don't get me wrong, you can become very proficient in that technique if you put the time into it. Because it has to be done. One, two, three. One, two, three. Not one, two, three. It'll never work. You're, you're too tied up. Wasn't it like you were showing some different? Instead of wrapping the hand, you could crap the hand. Yeah, so you, way. It's like, you see, this is the circle, right? See? So instead of me doing it, I'm stopping it. And I'm grabbing onto it. See? Remember? See from here? Stop. See? I'm stopping it. So if he pulls his arm back, I'm still going through. If I do this and he pulls his arm back, well, now I have a problem. See, because when I go here, just put your arm back, well, it's over. But if from in here, I grab and pulls his arm back, it's still going through. And make your technique simple. If he throws that hand, he throws the other hand, it's over. If he throws that hand, right, I'm in. If he throws, do it again. If he throws one, then he throws two, right? If he throws that rear hand, Get it out of the way. Or if you want to come with an elbow and elbow, these are just one-two techniques. They're not to follow through and to take down and so forth. Um, once again, if you're doing an inward block, right, and we continue that motion, well, here you have it. See, if I'm doing an outward block, and I continue that motion, well, there's a circle. Now you see the circle can be reaching up from here and pushing around. If I'm doing an upward downward block, here's that motion. Okay. It's the same way if a guy's coming at me with a stick. See? See, and I want to move the stick out of the way. It's the same way if a guy's coming at me with a stick. See? And I want to move the stick out of the way. It's just following the circle. See? It's following that circle. Now, if he throws the punch, see, I can come. Now I'm doing more of a of a Kempo base as opposed to a Chinese flowing base. Because when I'm blocking, see, I'm coming in instantaneously. I'm blocking that hand, and I'm using one, two, three, off here to come in. And then you can follow through with whatever you want to do. That's more of a Kempo style as opposed to a, a Chinese flow. Just to show you the difference. <laughs> That's what 